Hi, my name is John Like Fun, and for today's Hippo Short, we're going to cover a cool mnemonic to cover the differential diagnosis of status epilepticus. Now, when a patient is seizing actively in front of you, a lot of things are going on in your mind, but you have to be systematic about the approach to the underlying etiology of that seizure in order to even recognize and treat the appropriate etiology of that seizure. So here's your cool mnemonic. Terrible causes of status epilepticus include eclampsia. The T stands for toxins, so your sympathomimetics like cocaine or methamphetamines. The treatment for that is benzodiazepines. Alcohol withdrawal, first line treatment for that is also benzodiazepines. More exotic would be isoniazid toxicity. The treatment for that is vitamin B6 or pyridoxine. Then you have tricyclic antidepressants. Treatment would be sodium bicarbonate. C is for CNS tumors. If you have CNS tumors that are increasing intracranial pressure, let's say leading to herniation, that can lead to a seizure. You gotta get that non-con head CT in order to find out if neurosurgery needs to be immediately involved. This is for stroke or bleed. If you have a stroke or bleed that's leading to irritation of the brain, that can also lead to seizure. E is for electrolytes. Let's say you're hyponatremic, hypoglycemic, hypocalcemic, or hypomagnesemic. You need to replace those electrolyte levels in order to actually take care of the underlying seizure. In the case of hyponatremia, hypertonic saline, let's say 3%. Hypoglycemia, you want to replace that with dextrose. Use the rule of 50s. With hypocalcemia, replace that with calcium gluconate. And then with hypomagnesemia, replace that with magnesium sulfate. Eyes for infections, CNS infections, especially encephalitis or brain abscesses. Especially with encephalitis, you want to be concerned whether or not there's risk for herpes encephalitis because the treatment for that is not just antibiotics, but also acyclovir, right? And then for E, eclampsia, you got to remember eclampsia, the one that escapes us all not just for those who are pregnant, but even postpartum. But especially for pregnant patients, you have to remember if they're seizing, that you take care of their eclampsia with magnesium sulfate. And this isn't your regular two gram slam. This is high dose, four to six grams to start off with in the first 15 minutes. And then if you are pregnant, deliver that baby and call OBGYN. And that is your cool mnemonic to remember the differential diagnosis for status epilepticus. If you want more information, head on over to hippoeducation.com. This is John Like Fun. We'll see you next time.